Hey, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm going to be creating this stay home video conference makeup look for a healthy glow. But before you get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel and ring that post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see how I achieve this very simple but put together look, then just keep on watching. Although we're still staying at home, many of us, we are now using some type of video conference system, whether it's Zoom, FaceTime, to either keep working or to connect with family members and friends. And I think it's super important, not only for those video conferences, but also to start our day with a little bit more of a positive energy and good vibes and just lifting up yourself to just touch up, do just a little bit of makeup that just makes you feel a little bit, again, put together and a little bit like, oh, you know, I look as bright as the sunshine out there. <laughs> I think it that way, so I'm gonna be doing a really quick makeup tutorial for this type of conference call or just a stay home type of makeup. And a lot of people may say, well, I don't need to put makeup when I'm at home. Yeah, that's true, you can just do your skincare if you want to and just keep it at that. Don't forget your SPF. I have it on too because believe me, through the window, I have a big window right here in front. I don't use a ring light. The sun rays come and they can create damage. So it is, I think it's just super important again to take care of ourselves and even though you can be still on kind of like loungy type of clothing, when you're jumping into a business phone call, my first recommendation is just put something that really speaks about you, something that actually relates to your personality. If your coworkers have always seen you dress a certain way, just keep it at that. Don't dress it up. Also, the same thing with makeup. Don't dress it up if you have not done so when you're at the office. So for me, it's just, you know, a simple blouse, nothing too fancy and then very simple makeup. Alrighty, my friends, I'm gonna get you closer. We're gonna start with these. I hope that you really enjoy it. And let's just go ahead and get it started. I'm gonna skip foundation and you're gonna be like, what? Yeah, you can just skip it and just use a concealer of your choice. The one that I have been loving lately is the Pat McGrath concealer. These cover my under eye circles, my imperfections really well, and it's not heavy. So I'm just gonna apply it very simple in the areas where I feel that I need that extra coverage. And I'm just gonna be using my favorite beauty sponge from Dose of Colors and just blend it in. And I'm just blending it right on the spots that I need them. I also have a lot of freckles and honestly, in real life, my friends, family members, my co-workers, my clients, they normally do have freckles, so for me, there's no intention to cover them, not even camouflage them at this point in time, but just simply make up my skin a little bit more even and kind of, you know, cover a little bit of redness. Now my discoloration is a little bit more covered and I'm just gonna set my concealer with this Pat McGrath powder. And I'm just using it under my eyes, just so that the light will not reflect that much in that area. Next to the brows, I'm gonna be using Precisely My Brow by Benefit. And I'm just filling in a little bit of the gaps. Just try to keep it as natural as possible. Brow Setter by Benefit.
Something super important to me is to use a little bit of bronzer and for that I'm going to be using Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder in the shade Sunset. I like to put a little bit of bronzer on the sides of my nose so it kind of like creates a little bit of a contour without contouring and then with the same bronzer I'm just going to use a little bit on my eyelids I think blush is key to give us a little bit of life to our face so I'm going to be using this new Natasha Denona Bloom Blush And I love to put whatever is remaining on the brush a little bit on my nose and that creates a really nice healthy glow. I'm going to be applying the same blush a little bit on my eyelids. This step is not necessary but I love highlighter so I'm going to be applying a little bit of my Magic Star Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I'm applying the same highlighter right on my brow bone. It's not only important to look a little bit put together, but I think the most important thing is to look awake. <laughs> and for that, I need to use a little bit of mascara. Here is Fenty Beauty. I love to give an extra glow to my skin and for that I'm going to be using Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And I'm just going to go across and just buff it all out. And these just give a very natural subtle glow to your skin. For lips you can use a lipstick, a lip balm, a tinted lip product. Personally, I really love this Persona Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Peach. Alrighty friends, and here it is to a healthy glow. I really love this healthy look where I'm just emphasizing a little bit my given beauty and listen, regardless of your age, I'm 40 years old, just a little bit of something, something that can just make you feel a little bit more awake, a little bit more energized, whatever it is, changing your clothing, putting mascara, putting your skincare, putting a mask or just taking a nice bath, whatever it is. Do it. Do it for yourself. We always need to love ourselves. I was super happy to share these tips and tricks with you and use very minimal products. I think I use like 10 products right here at the most. And even if you don't have blush and you just have a very simple lipstick, something in the pinkish tone or peach tone, you can just tap it a little bit on your lips, tap it and use it as a blush. You don't need too much just use whatever you have on hand i hope that you really enjoyed this video that it serves you in some way i would love to read your comments down below so let's start the conversation right there and if you haven't done so yet i hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel also ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my content also that post notification bell is important because i put 
news on my community tab and that's the way that you will get notified if you just ring that post notification bell again if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with friends and family members and if you have a little bit of a chance come and follow me on my instagram i'd love to grow my family there as well thank you so much again for watching until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye bye